Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another DC comic review, and this DC comic review is covering Batman issue 124, and as you can see here I've got two covers, oh, the main and the variant, and I'm not too worried about the um, Pride variant, but I still like it, even though know, it's not the best in relation to, well the story, we'll get to that later. Um, so, first things first, for cover A and cover B, do these stories in, uh, do these covers in any way, shape or form connect to something that's happening inside of a story? Uh, sure enough, uh, the first one does, to which I give a 7 out of 10, and 7.5 for the other one, only just because I somewhat like some of the imaging, you know, not all of it, but some of it. So, I'll now move into the internal art, which I will not be covering the backstory in this, so take note of that. And it's time to move into the story, as to what's happening here. As we start to move in relation to the beginning of the story, and as we can see here, the character of Abyss has returned, but we will learn that this character of Abyss isn't who they say they are. And of course we end up returning back to Gotham. And we have Oracle there. I'll now move towards the middle of the story. As we start to move towards the middle of the story, uh, we have Batman meeting up. Again with Detective Kaya, who has decided to take on the mantle of Abyss. And, um, try to be a bit of a badass in their own way. But they're also looking for information for people who are somewhat responsible, connected to... I think it's the kidnapping or death of her parents. And of course, last but not least, towards the end of the story, to which you do actually see that um, she does somewhat get some solace, but I really dislike what was somewhat happening here. And of course, Batman says in some way he sees himself in her, and I call a bit of BS. <laughs> it's not a very strong ending for Joshua Williamson here. So, though I did like the art, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the story rating. To which, first things first, did we get any comic book references? Yes, we did. We got the Batman Annual, which will be linking to the Batman Incorporated, which will be coming out um, when it says it will be coming out. And, of course, also what's happening with the Robin Run. In relation to... The time we got no indication of time moving into the area of location we had Badija uh, we also had Oracle's lab in Gotham the cast of characters consisting of Batman Oracle Abyss who is Kaya uh, De Detective Kaya And for the overall story rating, I gave it a 7 out of 10. So, uh, for a lot of that hard work that was put in, in, say, the Shadow War, War event, it felt like um, it was all put the waste in this issue. Um, in, in Including in relation to Batman's character, he should have bloody stopped her when he should have stopped her. Um, and the fact that she was even friggin' taunting him, and, uh, <sighs> <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't give this, uh, story rating something a little bit lower, so overall, it did get a 7 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful, and have yourself an awesome day.